And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Deep. We got a new donation deck for a new kind of deep where we are going to be going on over to Targon for our Splash region for just three cards. So we're going to be playing Bilgewater, of course, but our three... Um, our three Targon cards are going to be two. They're going to be very good against aggro, very good blockers to have early on with our Solari cards, Solari Soldier and Solari Shield Bear. And then also Pale Cascade, because this is just one of the best cards, best spells at least, one of the best spells in the game. Deep usually does struggle against aggro, and so that's, that's what this is uh, meant to help out. The Soldier and Shield Bear um, gives us just a lot better blocker than, than just like the 1-4. Like the 1-4 is a good blocker, that Shadow Isles has, but it you know people can ignore it, but you can't you really ignore a three two as much, um, and then Soldier goes with Dredgers being our one drops. But then besides that, we're going to be using Twisted Fate um, instead of Maokai. Help us go deep, be able to draw cards. Also, be awesome against Aggro with the red card. Can be good against um, decks that are going big with the gold card. Gives us a bunch of versatility. We're going to have three mana make it rain. Going to be our first time trying out brand new three mana make it rain. And then, of course, Brayfin that helps Twisted Fate go deep, um, helps us draw, make it rain, Pale Cascade, or Jettison. Um, so, you know, with, with Sprayfin drawing Jettison and uh, then also getting the one mana that you can spend that one mana on Jettison to toss four, Sprayfin basically is um, a four mana 2-2 two, two, toss four, you know, with that combo. So that helps you go deep as well. All right, so let's try this out. Let's try this version of Deep... Uh, with Bilgewater and Targon. Let's see how we do. All right, let's see. Quinn Misfortune. So I like Jettison, Shield Bear, Twisted Fate. I like all of that. Well, Nautilus is good, of course. But I guess, so I guess we'll keep it. <laughs> so we'll just keep our hands. It may be better for us to play Shield Bear on three. Okay, never mind. Now we definitely have just Shield Bear on two and Shield Bear on three. So that's fine. Hmm. The thing is, I don't know if I want Shield Bear to die to Fleet Feather Tracker. So can we just get away with just going Dredge Dredgers first? Maybe you wait until like Twisted Fate, like red card, clears up some stuff. Maybe. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. My faith protects me. Love ya. I think we go red card. Okay. Didn't play out how I thought it would. Ours is the one true light. The enemies of day will fall. Playing the jettison right now, of course, because we have the extra mana now. So we're not wasting the mana. Always forward. So I'm trying to think what happens if they play if they play Quinn. Like I can block here, I go red card, but then they play Quinn. They're still nine away from deep. The guilty will bend. I guess I'm passing. have no opportunity for Twisted Fate. I don't know. This has been kind of weird. I don't feel like I've sequenced this very well over the last few turns. I'm just wasting so much mana. That's what I don't like. Play. 
So that levels up Misfortune. So that's probably game. I guess that's a pretty big downside to what we got going on. We can't kill Misfortune. Why is just not everything attacking? Like, if I'm them, I'm definitely having Protégé just challenge and then just attacking with these other two. And doing a lot more damage, and then it just kills the Protégé. Fortune. Hey, Godzona Godzonalo. Thanks for the very kind message. I'm a people person. Welcome to the stream. My shield is yours. Mm, you're cute when you're armed. Firepower is always in style. I gotta show you the sights of Bilgewater. The sights are fine. The All right, we gotta hope this works. Okay, that worked. Just like honey but we're not dead yet. Not dead yet. So this will draw a card, make us five away from deep. We'll play the, the Slaughter Docks. So maybe we won't play the Slaughter Docks. Let's see what we get. Maybe we just need another Solari Soldier for a blocker? No prey. Oh, no. Well, all right. Uh, I, I guess I'll just play it out. Proud warriors of the sun's true light. Ahead. That jettison was an amazing draw. It was basically the only draw we could have. Alright, so actually... I'm gonna block here... Because I don't want I don't want my Devourer Depths to have one health and they be able to challenge it with Misfortune. The if they if they do challenge it with Misfortune, you know it's a seven seven. That Jettison was a perfect draw. You're covered. Gross. That's not good though. Down to four. Sunward. <laughs> cool, not a rally. And that's a great draw. I can use that on Misfortune. We're not out of this yet. Been a long path to get I guess I need to do this now before they just go right to open attacks and, and deal three to me. I am going to cast the Jettison <laughs> as well. To make it more likely that I draw another Nautilus. Right, like I don't really want to draw those cards. <clears throat> I know those are the cards at the bottom, but... So maybe it doesn't make it more likely for just this turn, but still. I'm gonna obliterate them. Those are not cards I want to draw. All 
Alright, GG's. 1-0. I don't I don't care that we could toss sea monsters. I was gonna quit. I was frustrated them having another one, but then realized, okay, well it's not over. That the jettison draw was just absolutely perfect. Yeah, never give up. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Nocturne Diana. Is Make It Rain good against Nocturne Diana? It's good against the 4 1. We'll try it out. I guess they're one, both their one drops are like, you know, two ones. One of them turns into a 4 1. It's good against both of those. Okay, I guess that's the one drop it's not good against. So playing Solari Soldier means that I won't have three mana, three spell mana next turn for Make It Rain. You gonna block with the goat? No. Because obviously I want to play Slaughter Docks. I guess we're playing shield bearer. Slow them down. So now I go red card and have these mega rains available or slaughter docks. Gotta get these um, slaughter docks in play. The worst possible would have been the Solari Soldier, the 5-3 in their Nexus. So that's the second worst possible. Best possible would have been all three. But the the two the two two and the three you know, like I wanted to get both of the two health things for the red card. Proud warriors of the sun's true light. Never lost a fair game. I guess I'm just gonna gold card this Crescent Guardian. All that glitters. So we got a lot of mana over there. Darkness. No one is safe. Follow the horizon. The guilty were bad. Go down to nine. We already see the the effects of the Mega Rain nerf with um, with Mega Rain costing two mana. I would have been able to play both Mega Rains last turn, and then the Twist of Fate red card would have been more devastating. So we see the effects of that, or I'd be able to go Devour plus Mega Rain this turn. No cascade. Those are the cards. I'm just listing the spells in my hand. Ours is the one true light. All right. So the good news that worked. The bad news they could have another. Okay. Good news they don't have another. Bad news, these overwhelm things are super big. This does not look good for me. Wow. That's a high roll. 
I mean, I drew the best possible card I could last game, I guess. That's a high roll. Doesn't look like there's any block that saves me. Does not look like there's any block that saves me. <laughs> Three mana, five three overwhelm. Pretty good. So while our Solari cards are slowing down our opponent slightly, they're they seem like they're slowing us down a bunch. I almost want to keep the Pale Cascades because of how good that card is. I kind of want to just keep my hand all together. I know I could have cast Salvage the previous turn. Um, but I wanted to just keep like Make It Rain available if we wanted it. Just see, just see if we wanted it or not. Looks like trouble. So we don't draw a card off of Pale Cascade if I do that first. I have to go Salvage first. That's annoying, because... Yeah, this Make It Rain 3 mana has has been... Um, kind of annoying. So basically, I can't play Make It Rain now. You gotta trust your instincts. I can protect from Brittle Steel by playing another Pill Cascade. I'm going to do that. That's the point of that, to have it so they can't just Brittle Steel my Twisted Fate. Victory requires a sharp blade. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. So we're at five. We draw this card for turn. That's six. Swiftly, you're mine. So again, I can't can't just use Mega Rain. Well, I mean, I can, but then I can't level up. So I could. Let's see. Well, how many cards do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. So I have nine cards in hand. So if I play Salvage, I assume I'm not drawing two because I have I would only have one. Yeah, I'd only have room for one card, so I assume it wouldn't count as two. So I assume I have to play Jettison first. So my options are like Mega Rain to try to save Twisted Fate or. Jettison plus Salvage and Twisted Fate's definitely leveled up. Because we have another Twisted Fate, so even if this one dies, we know it's it, you know it's going to be leveled up. And it gives me ten cards. This still trades here now with the one one power. It gives me ten cards. I can unload the Solari Soldier. So that we still get to draw our next card. Line up. Yuck. Guide our allies. Both these turns, the make it rain costing three instead of two. Made a big difference. It's still making a big difference, because let's see, because I can't go, I can't get red card with Twisted Fate. I just cast this. Wow. I would have thought they would have some kind of protection. These old eyes still see far and clear. The enemies of day will fall. I'm planning on just playing two shield bears out there just to get some defense out here. All right, that, that was actually a bad play by me. Okay, this, that's fine. I was going to say, whenever they passed me with, with all that mana, I should have just taken the pass and gone to the next turn. I shouldn't have played the other 3-2. I needed to recalibrate. I, I played that too fast, and I immediately regretted it. No mercy for heretics. Only fools 
play the hand there. I'd rather them be using culling, you know, like Frostbite, culling strike kind of cards to kill Twisted Fate than kill Nautilus. So I'm going to lead with the Twisted Fate. Winter take you. Which means to get the only way to get red card is going Shield Bear with Pale Cascade. So that gets me red card. So yep, they had the frostbite culling strike combo. So I'm glad, you know, I'm glad that didn't take out Nautilus. Only the finest serve. Hey Rivalis, doing good. Yeah, our dragon deck was sweet. We do have another dragon deck later on tonight with Stony Shivana. All right, so if they do that again, I have backup Nautilus now. Cool. Toss another sea monster first that we, that we put back into the deck. No, you shouldn't just play. Yeah, yeah. Please keep the chat PG. But you don't need to just play and make the make the same mistakes over and over. That's that's the thing you need to learn from it. But yes, I mean, uh, you know, experience is the best teacher. And um, yeah, you know, you're you said you're new to the game. You're probably playing against people that aren't new to the game. But yeah, you know, just uh, you know, keep keep learning. Don't don't get frustrated by not being able to win immediately. You know, day one, it's that's okay. You know, just learn and continue to grow and, uh, you know, get better and see, you know, learn, like, you know, be looking like, why is your opponent winning? Why, you know, why are, like, what are you, what are you doing that's not getting you enough, you know, enough stuff to win? What's your opponent doing that's, that's defeating you? You know, just continue to learn and grow. So Ash is at two out of five. I don't think they'd be playing, like, kill any, you know, like, a card, like, uh, kill a damaged unit. Um, Noxion Guillotine, like that kind of stuff. Stand together. A lot about playing card games like this Tetrisphere is knowing, you know, just kind of knowing all the cards and knowing, like, what your, like, the kind of cards your opponent's going to be playing and that kind of stuff, so... Um, that kind of knowledge only does come in time of playing more. My aim is true. We do have the Riptide to remove Ash. Now we're not going to be able to block. This is nine damage. So if they have something that adds extra damage, we're going to lose. Hopefully they do not. All right, we're down to one. One is not zero. Nine cards left. Let's make more sense to challenge here. All right, there we go. GG's. Two and one. The waters cannot be sated. We got another misfortune at Quindec. I, 
could see keeping Sprayfin. Maybe we do. Ooh, I like the Dredge Dredgers. I guess I play this and just attack with it and be a little aggressive here. Yeah, I saw the new KDA cards. What do you think about the card that makes buffs permanent in a mono Demacia deck? I don't know. I'm skeptical. To be honest, I'm a little skeptical on the card. Um, but we'll have to see. Um, basically... Huh. No challenge, huh? Not exactly what I was expecting. Valor. Punish transgressions. Yeah, it's a permanent for Demacia. I guess like the you know, so it doesn't do barriers. Something that I could see it doing very well would be um, Ranger's Resolve, the card that I'm scared of right now. Ranger's Resolve being perm- like having all your things have permanent top, like that's kind of cool. Mining assaults. Gonna pass. You want a challenge here? Safeguard our citizens. Okay. My faith protects me. This is probably just not a necessary bill cascade. Not when I have twisted fate red card. It's gonna be going more bannermans. I've got your back. Keep up, keep up. Maybe get another mega rain. Cool. The coral. We'll take that. So Valor kills Twisted Fate. All that, that gets stunned. I was hoping for Quinn. Then red card against Quinn would have been really nice. All these Valors. Alright, hoping this hits Valor. It's too bad. I am pretty surprised that that Valor is not challenging the Twisted Fate. I'm pretty surprised about that. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. <laughs> it did hit Valor. That is true. I did just hit Valor with that. Yeah, I think that's I think that's my plan, devour the Genevieve. So what do they think about casting? Do they have, you know, single combat concerted strike? For how they're waiting like this, it probably feels like like it feels like single combat. Or concerted strike. Alright, single combat. Sure. 
showing they're not too worried about my Twisted Fate. It's a good blocker. Obviously, we'll be able to Pill Cascade, keep Twisted Fate alive. Never mind. Man, they just do not care about my Twisted Fate. Well, I guess they're just going to kill it next. Right. Their thing that's a 5 1. Keep it on having other distractions for them. Maybe they challenge the Jaw Hunters instead. Darn, not bailing me out. Make it rain, come in just in time to save my Twisted Fate. Or not. <laughs> Looks like they drew the Ranger's Resolve whenever I drew that Make it rain, so... You know, we just drew two cards that trade for each other, and they take a damage. That's the key, they also take a damage. We'll see who feasts tonight. So we're still looking good. Guess I should have cast that Pell Cascade first. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Hmm. All right, GGs, three and one. Just, just playing it slow, playing it safe. Could have gone for lethal. Check out the the news website right there. There's an article about like the whole event. With the KD event, what KD event, what it is, and all that kind of stuff. All right, playing against some burn. Is Slaughter Dogs too slow against burn? Possibly. Definitely molding these two cards. Um, we're definitely keeping Soldier, so it's just Slaughter Dogs. What are we doing with you? We'll send you back. We'll send you back, Jack. This you do it again. We'll send you back, Jack. I guess that's not how the... Oh, right, I can't play Make It Rain for two mana. Cost three now. <laughs> I was like, I was like, all right, we'll play Soldier. We'll still Make It Rain on turn two. That's not how this card works anymore. Oh, it is a great day for a yeah. Clad in shining sunlight. <laughs> All right, hit some one. One health. Oh, I got two one healths. And we got an elusive in the two one. That's not so bad. Cool. We'll take four. Could be a lot worse. And now we get to lead with Dredge Dredgers. They play Jinx. We play Jaw Hunters and challenge Jinx. That's the plan. Rules are made to be broken. Sometimes a plan comes together. Sometimes the plan comes together. And I do want to trade one ones with all their abilities to pump up their 1-1 one -one and go wide and have um, I don't know, crowd favorite. You know, they, have, they have so many reasons why we want to just trade 1-1s. One -one. Keep up, keep up. Right, elusive block elusive.
<laughs> yeah, gotta love it when a plan comes together. I can see them playing Vision. Okay, nope. Six mana. So we're 11 away from deep. This is eight towards deep with Salvage Jettison. I stand for Noxus. Which I guess I could have just done that first before playing the Slaughter Ox. I don't regret it. We'd still be playing the Slaughter Docks here. This crowd favorite is going to be able to hit me once. Before we're able to get this going. Hey, kiddo. Dig your kid up. I mean, I guess I could just play Shipwreck Hoarder. Uh, it's either that or just go Jettison and then 6-6 six, six, Abyssal Eye. Um, I guess we'll just play 6-6 six, six, Abyssal Eye, which they don't have to know is going to be a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, that's true. Hoarder does get us deep with the with the toss too. I didn't I didn't consider that, so it would have been a 10-8. Okay, that would have been a little better to play. At least this way we did get a surprise. You know, we kind of got to get excited out of their hand. That's kind of that's cool. It's a get excited not coming at me. Got a surprise there. We now we get to play the soldier. That's kind of cool. No mercy for heretics. So that's kind of cool. Down to 11. I feel pretty good about getting this one. Nautilus with one extra mana next turn. Yeah, no, no Twisted Fate draws for us going deep this game. Forward, forward. Through the coral. This is gonna hurt for you. So how do we lose this? Like, Jinx? Jinx? Stands for Jinx? <laughs> You're going to have to be real good, Jinx. So basically, they need, they need Get Excited... Plus a card, so then they get excited me to do three damage to me, and then they get the super mega death rocket that does four damage to me. So that's seven, and then they get another get excited. Mm, that's ten. We do ten before my next attack. Then we had the riptide, so um, yeah, they're in trouble. Then, then we just drew drew the best card in our deck. Now they're not a less. Yeah, we're playing we're playing ranked today. We we only don't play ranked on meme tier Monday. Yesterday was another meme tier Monday. Um, it was a Tuesday version of meme tier Monday, but 
Yep, so we're we're doing all rank today. So it looks like we're gonna have back to back four ones. Awesome. Just go ahead and get that attack in. No real reason to wait. There we go, GG. Another 4-1. Um, we had some, we had some good fortune in those games. Our the first three games were all super close, and we won two out of the three. You know, we won two and lost one, but all three of them, uh, you know, like the one that we lost could have definitely been a win. Both of those that we won could have been losses. They were all very close. Um, so we got two out of those three, and then the last two, um, you know, we had pretty handily the whole time uh yeah this feels like deep's pretty good these days uh, this was this was pretty interesting trying out solari soldier and solari shield bearer as blockers they did pretty good so they they did slow the opponent down quite a bit early on i was feeling like um they were slowing us down too much though like we weren't able to get deep very fast at all with them but then, you know, we played some more games and it really looked a lot better whenever we did have, you know, did draw like a Dredgers or a Jettison and a Salvage, you know, like whenever we did have like one of each of those cards. I think the first couple of games we had, you know, like two soldiers, two shield bearers and, um, you know, just didn't, we weren't just going deep very fast. We just had like just those and then like these top end stuff. So I liked it. I think it worked pretty well. Yeah, there wasn't, there wasn't anything in the deck I, I didn't like. Um. Yeah, I'd want to keep keep kind of trying it out more and, and uh, see how it goes, you know, with, with more games. But um, I was a little worried about the Soldier and Shield Bearer after the first game or two. But then uh, the last two or three games started to really look a lot better. There we go. That's Twisted Deep. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always love seeing those. But thank you so much for watching some Twisted Deep, and I'll see you for the next video.